To finish up my router table build, I built a router lift. A router lift is really handy because it allows me Hey guys, well it's Friday and like all Fridays I look forward to watching the Woodworking for Mirror Mortals videos that come out each week. Steve Ramsey has been working on his router table and just finished it up with the router lift and what a great job he did on that project. I've got my Woodworking for Mirror Mortals swag on and what does this have to do with my video this week? Stay tuned and find out.
All right, guys, what you just saw was me making the plaque that I'm going to be presenting to Steve. It's been a month since we were able to come together as a community and give Steve his new saw. So I wanted to check in with him at the shop and see how things are going with the new saw as well as the new router table. Uh, the plaque is a representation of the event that took place a month ago where uh, the community came together and raised money to give Steve his saw. And basically it just... Um, is a way of showing appreciation to Steve for his contribution to the woodworking community and with that is a list of the name of the contributors towards the saw so I will be presenting that to Steve and uh, giving it to him so what I thought I was I'd try to get a hold of Steve and uh, have a little shop talk with him and see how things are going with the new saw so uh, with that being said let's see if we can get a hold of Steve oh Steve you there Hey, lady. <laughs> hey, buddy. What's up? Not much, man. How are things going? Things are going well. It's cold and rainy out today, though. <laughs> oh, I, well, I won't tell you how warm it is in Florida, then. Listen, it's been about a month, so I figured I'd stop by and see how the saw is doing. You been able to run it through its paces? Oh, the saw. Yeah, well, uh, actually, I ended up selling that on Craigslist, and <laughs> I decided to... I'm going to do all my projects now using... Just a hack saw. <laughs> oh, I'd pay to see that. <laughs> no, I love the saw. The saw is great. I use it all the time. I'm still, uh, you know, figuring out new features of it and figuring out new ways to cut things. And wow, the accuracy on that compared to my old one is night and day. Highly recommend the Porter Cable table saw. <laughs> Outstanding. I love my Porter Cable saw. Well, listen, I appreciate you stopping by. Uh, you want to answer a few questions for me? Yeah, let's do it. Awesome. Well, listen, uh, to start off with, we're going to jump right in. Last week, I was talking about inspiration. I know you got a picture of Norm on your wall. Uh, other than that, he's a great inspiration, but who else inspires your woodworking? Yeah, actually, I don't have that picture of Norm Abram in my shop anymore. <laughs> it actually was, it just started to fade away. The emulsion on the paper just started, like, chipping away and crumbling. And <laughs> oh. I hope that's not some sort of a weird metaphor for I never <laughs> Norm <know>. Abram. <laughs> um, I don't think so. But yeah, Norm, is a, he was a huge influence on my woodworking. I used to always watch his show, and I enjoyed and marveled at the things he could build using, well, very expensive tools <laughs> and stuff I knew I would never be able to do, but I could always pick up little tips here and there from him. Uh, the uh, two main sources of inspiration in my life for woodworking have been my my father and my grandfather. Great. My uh, grandfather really taught me patience, and <laughs> he really didn't do a lot of woodworking, but he had a shop out in his garage, and he would just like to go out there and tinker with things, and he taught me how to build some simple projects. My dad really taught me that uh, nothing is unfixable, and he could pretty much build anything sure. just by taking it step by step and uh, he actually had bought a shop smith when I was eight or nine I suppose and that's really what got me interested in woodworking more than anything was that shop smith and especially the lathe I really enjoyed <laughs> using the lathe on that Wait. tool oh yeah well Dwayne Eller said I should get a shop smith all right now listen back in 2009 you did a shop tour and in it you talked about making a new router table and a new table saw you ever look back to see how things have changed Wow, did I actually say that in that, in that shop tour? Yeah. Well, wow, that was a long time ago. <laughs> well, that's interesting. I, uh, well, frankly, I just, I never watch any of my older videos. Usually, like, the week after I post it, I, <laughs> I rarely <laughs> see them again. I don't know. I, it, it kind of makes me uncomfortable watching my older <laughs> videos, and it makes me kind of cringe a little bit. I don't oh, like yeah? to watch myself on there. So. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I mean, definitely my woodworking has grown. Uh, since then I'd like to think that my woodworking is always going to be growing and I think a lot of that has to do with mostly now I'm doing woodworking on so much of a more regular basis right. more so than I used to because well I'm putting out a video every week and it's really one of the things I, I like most about woodworking is that it just never gets old because you can always keep challenging yourself with with new techniques and you know trying out new stuff oh yeah that's true now listen you also showed a well stocked refrigerator in that shop uh, you still got it stocked, and what's the beer of choice for the Mirror Mortal shop? <laughs> ah, yeah, the old beer fridge. Yeah, I had that big fridge for a long time. I got that for free. It was on the side of the road with a sign on it that said free. <laughs> so I took it a long time ago, and it stopped working last year, and uh, so I had to get rid of it. And I got a new fridge. Well, also, I got that for free, <laughs> too, but it's a much smaller one. It's just Gotta strictly a free. beer fridge. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I like good beer. I, I like ales mainly. I really am not a lager drinker at all and I used to brew my own beer and of course brewing you really want to make ales it's much simpler. 
Uh, but as far as uh, you know, buying beer, to me, I kind of judge all beers by Sierra Nevada Pale Ale, which I just think is <laughs> the best beer around. Right. Uh, but, you know, I'm sure people would disagree <laughs> with that, but for me, that's a good one. But usually I just go to Safeway or wherever, and if something is on sale, I buy it. But it has to be some, some sort of a good beer. Most of the, the mass-produced American beers are, well, they're just basically you're drinking water, and it's kind of gross. <laughs> oh, well, there goes our Budweiser endorsement, Steve. <laughs> well, listen. Um, how how do you plan your projects each week? I mean, does your when you post on Friday, does your Saturday Sunday start the process all over again? Yeah, actually, I get asked that question a lot: is where do I come up with the ideas for my projects? And uh, I'm not really sure. You know, I I try to keep sort of a list in the back of my head of some things that I'd kind of like to do. And a lot of times, I just see things at stores, gift shops, whatever. And they don't even have to be made out of wood, but they kind of inspire me to think, hmm, maybe that is something I could make out of wood. And then what I do often is I'll just Google images yeah. for anything, like a banana stand, for instance, and <laughs> just did. get some ideas on there and just kind of let that morph into something. Absolutely. But, you know, oftentimes that, that's kind of the biggest struggle is trying to come up with a project each week. And uh, I'm often really shooting the final bits of my video just hours <laughs> before I post it on uh. Friday, so I'm kind of a slacker that way. There you go. But, <laughs> but you know, and it doesn't always work. I mean, I've certainly had my share of clunker <laughs> we projects all? that I'm not proud of, but uh, I don't know. You give it a shot and see what happens. But. I, I don't know what I'm going to do for next week yet, either. <laughs> Neither do I. <laughs> so, Steve, recently you've been getting some recognition from the tool companies and, uh, you know, with Porter Cable and the router and uh, the grippery that you got to demo as well as the Craig Crate that you made with the Craig Jig. If any tool companies are watching, is there really anything that you'd uh, like to add to your collection as far as tools go? Yeah, that's definitely pretty cool <laughs> Cool that uh, some tool companies have sent me tools in exchange uh, for making a video. Uh, I have to approach those a little bit differently right. than I do my regular videos because I have to really think about my viewers first and yeah, yeah, realize that they're not going to want to sit through a <laughs> commercial for the product. So I try to make those videos just, you know, fun, really. Absolutely. And still get the point across that there's, <laughs> there's a product <laughs> involved. But right. yeah, it's a lot of fun. As far as anything new, I don't know. I have, you know, all the tools I, I really need. I guess I could use, you know, better tools, but I don't know. <laughs> I could use an awl, you an know? Awl? <laughs> because I, I usually just use a nail for making little holes. In Whatever the, works. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I don't know. Oh, scroll saw. I could use a new scroll saw, hey, actually. I'd probably use my scroll saw a lot more if I had a decent one. I'm using my dad's scroll saw from 1948 or whenever, <laughs> but I don't know. That's sure. about it. <laughs> All right. Well, you know, over the years, we've gotten to watch Wyatt grow into a talented young man, and we've seen your acting talent with your Halloween videos and the silent film. Would you say his love for the theater is an inherited <laughs> trait? Yeah, well, that's really nice of you to ask about Wyatt. Uh, yeah, Wyatt's definitely been involved in my videos ever since I started making them, but uh, I, I don't think he learns acting from me. I, I learned more from him. Uh, he's been performing since he was four or five years old and he's 15 now and goes to a, an acting school and uh, you know he, he taught me how to use spatula hands which I don't use. I don't know and how to what to do with my hands. <laughs> I, I really need to pick up some more tips from why. <laughs> there you go. Well I tell you what um, you know you have a lot of people following you as well as myself that love your videos every Friday. Any sneak peeks you can give us on things to come from Mirror Morals? Things coming up. Well, I don't know. <laughs> like I said earlier, I, I, it's hard for me to figure out what I'm going to do until just right before I do it. Um, you know, I have a theory that 90% of all woodworking projects are basic, basically a box. That's a good theory. <laughs> just <laughs> versions of a box. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll make another box. There you go. <laughs> It'll be a great box. <laughs> All right, Steve. Well, I tell you what, listen, in the beginning of this video, I made something for you, and it's just a way of saying thank you for all that you do for us. You inspire me and all of us every day, and um, it's just a little token of appreciation. Wow, that plaque is just so cool. I Thank you. That <laughs> looks You're great. I, I got to find that spot for it in the shop. Maybe I'll put it over there where my, where my old picture of Norm used to be. Uh, but anyways, thanks again to everybody who helped out with that. Wow, having that new saw is just awesome. And 
I can't thank you enough. Oh, well, you're welcome, and I'm so glad that you were able to use it, you know. And, uh, you know, again, thank you for coming by and sticking. Is there any last things that you'd like to say? Uh, any parting words of wisdom you'd like to give us? Well, thanks, Lainey. Uh, you know, I guess the only message that I like to get across to people is that woodworking is simple. Anybody can do it, and it doesn't have to be intimidating. Right. And if you make a project for somebody, <laughs> they're going to love it, <laughs> even with all of its flaws. So you true. don't have to be that critical about it. The only people who are going to be critical of your woodworking are other woodworkers. Other woodworkers. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Regular people don't don't know any different. Absolutely. So, anyways, I guess that's about it. Thanks very again, cool. Lane. You're very welcome. Thank you, Steve. All right, well, listen, uh, I appreciate you guys hanging out with Steve and I for this short little interview, and I'm so you know glad that Steve was able to stop by and uh, hang out with me and answer just a couple questions I had for him. And, uh, you know, it's all about the woodworking community and what we can do for others. Um, you know, Steve puts out his videos every week, and just to teach and inspire us to uh, get out there and know that we can do it as well i mean it's not out of our reach to make something and to be able to come together as a community and give back to someone like steve who gives to us each and every week it's a great thing and once again i really want to thank everyone that was involved in this uh fundraiser that we had for steve and just you know it just shows how amazing uh, woodworkers are in the woodworking community as a general I mean to come together so quickly and so generously to help a fellow woodworker out is, it's just amazing but guys I hope you enjoyed this little video and I hope you enjoyed getting to uh, see you know uh, Steve kind of aside from his videos a little bit behind the scenes and just how he is he's a great guy he's an absolutely great guy and I I'm so glad that I'm able to share, you know, what I know of him as such a great friend, you know, with the rest of you. But next week, I got a big project coming up. Um, I'll talk more about it and I'll be uh, posting some updates about it uh, coming up soon. We're going to get back into some woodworking. I've done a couple of interviews with Matthew Agate and uh, of new, the Newfoundland Woodworker and uh, Steve and everything. It's just because. You know, it's, it's kind of my way of getting out in touch with everybody and seeing how things are going and kind of keeping in touch. And uh, so now it's time to get back to woodworking and make some projects. And I've got a good one coming up. I've been working on the design. Uh, right now I'm in the process of starting a new build for a client. Uh, it's going to take me a few days to get it done and out the door. And then I will be starting on the next video project. So guys, thanks for staying tuned. And I'll see you in the next video.